Hey guys, it's Ren from Make It by Ren Ren, and if you want to see this look, my smoky glitter, fun nighttime eye, and nude lips, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I am doing this look finally. If you follow me on my blog, you'll know that I did this look for a magazine release party and a lot of you wanted me to recreate it. I also showed this look on my Sigma Makeup Travel Brushes video. And today I am doing this for you to show you how to incorporate the glitter on the eye and a twist on the smoky eye. It's kind of like my Jennifer Hudson celebrity makeup tutorial, but I think this one's a lot better actually. And I feature all Graph Toby and Cosmetics. And today I will be giving away a brand new lip palette from Graptobian which is amazing. They feature this in InStyle Magazine and I will go into the details of the giveaway later at the end of the video so make sure you watch the entire video so you can have a chance to win this and stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay so let's go ahead and get started. Again I will be using all Graptobian cosmetics just because I really like that brand and I like to show how all the products in one brand really go well together. I am using the cream foundation in white. It's just a basic cream foundation that since it's white I'm going to be using it as a primer for my eyelid to lighten up the base as well as to kind of get things to stick since this is cream. So now I'm going to move to the colors. I am going to start out by using white whip right here and this is part of Graftobian's mineral eyeshadows. I really like them because they're pressed mineral eyeshadows. I'm not much of a loose pigment kind of girl, but I put that color, this color right here, all over and it kind of acts as my blending base. Next I am going to put the crease color on and it's like this brownish crease color because as many of you might know, when you do a smoky eye and you put brown to blend it out, it looks really good. So I'm going to take this brown color right here and my Sonia Kasha blending brush and tapping off the excess and then I'm just going to bring it up into my crease and I just want a, I don't want it to be too dark so I'm just really really blending it out and then I'm going to take a little bit of that all over lid color again and just kind of put it into my brow bound to, to blend it out now I'm going to take a um, just a flat eyeshadow applicator and I'm taking the black smoke eyeshadow putting off the excess and I'm going to get this in my outer V like that and this is really pigmented so you don't need a lot so I'm just sh shading the outer V portion and I'm only getting that area right here and I'm keeping the rest clear because this is where the silver will go so that's pretty easy I'm going to go take my 217 brush Mac and just kind of blend it out just so it's nice and soft looking and now I'm going to take the cool part which is the cosmetic powdered metal and silver and it's just like a really intense platinum colored pigment which you can use also to paint the body um, for like a statue look but I'm just going to apply this to my eye and I'm just going to use a flat stiff eyeshadow brush. I'm going to press it onto my eye and it's very 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 pigmented so it's like a, you lightly tap it into the powder and that's all you need. So I'm getting it and I'm kind of blending it into the black and get an even layer like that and now I can go back in with a little bit more of that black color in my 217 and kind of just smoke it out a little bit more. Okay. Now this is the really cool part. I take my Glitter Glam which is liquid skin sparkle and this color is opal confetti so it's just basically like a white glitter with um, blue, green, and pink reflex and I'm going to put some on a, on a CD because it has this nail, pol nail polish type brush and I just put it on to a CD. This is my A Design synthetic brush and then I'm just going to dab it over the silver part. So there's one layer. Can you see that? 
And the cool thing is, since this is liquid glitter, you don't have to ever worry about fallout because it's a pain to get glitter off of your face. So that's one layer. Let it dry for a couple seconds. And then you just pat on another layer. And you just pat. You don't want to sweep because you don't want to remove any of the product. And this glitter comes in a whole bunch of different colors. I just picked the pretty much the most tame one because we already have silver underneath. And now I'm going to line. I'm using the Graftobian Cake Eyeliner and Jet Black and I'm just dipping it in a little bit of Magic Set Mixing and Lining Liquid and getting it in here and kind of creating my own liquid gel liner and then I'm just going to draw my line in and this, the cake liner is really cool because it's like a in the middle between gel liner and liquid and it, it doesn't mess up as much as either of those because it has that powder base. And you just kind of have to play with it to see what kind of consistency you want it to use it with with the lining liquid. Now I'm going to use my Graftobian Black Velvet Cool Pencil. And I'm just going to get the lower lash line. This is a really, really creamy black pencil. I like how it's super big too, so you don't run out as quick. As well as, I'm going to tight line with it. Now I'm going to take my pencil brush and get a little bit of that black smoke. And I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Just to kind of bring the smokiness all around. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the same eyeshadows because they're pretty matte so it's easy to use these for multiple purposes. I'm going to take that same brown that I put in my crease as well as this lighter brown right here and I'm using both of those mixed to fill in my brows with my Billy B brow brush and I'm just going to outline it. and fill it in. And you can clean it up with a q-tip. Curl my lashes and stick on some falsies. I'm using Bliss or Red Cherry number 28. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my lashes on and while that dries I'm going to do the face. And I'm going to start with my Graftobian Corrector in Soft Orange is right here and I'm using that to correct my under eye circles and this is a really good color for a variety of skin tones because I've used this on someone who's a lot paler than me and it still look good because it just kind of erases any darkness under here and then I'm going to use my palette of HD Glamour Cream Super Palette and Warm and I use these two colors right here a mixture of them to kind of custom match my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply it with a foundation brush, my Billy B. And this is really good coverage. And it covers really well. I put a little bit of the lighter on the inside and then I kind of go darker on the edges just to kind of mimic my natural skin tone, which is very common for a woman of color to have more than one tone going on. It looks more real when you match it as opposed to trying to just make you one color. And then I'm going to set with my powder foundation from Graftobian. And this is also really great if you're doing it on clients because it has so many colors. And so this has been my kit since the beginning. And um, it also will correct if you go too light on the foundation it will correct it. So I'm just going to kind of set it And then we're going to go with blush. I am using my blush palette from Graftobian. They come with palettes for everything, which I love as a makeup artist. And I'm using this really pretty color right here. It's like a pink with gold shimmers almost. Really nice, bright color. I'm going to apply it going up towards my temple. And on my apples and my cheeks to kind of contour my face at the same time. Really good for people if you have wider faces or a little bit of chubby cheeks like I do. 
I also really like to take the mineral shadows and use them as like highlight colors. I'm using this color right here and I'm just going to take my blush brush and just kind of get it right on top of my cheekbones to give like a soft highlighting look and then even like right here to kind of emphasize my cheeks. You can put it down your nose and just really just illuminates the face and makes it have a soft highlighted glow. So last we will go with lips. I am going to use my Graftobian lip palette and this is really cool because this has actually been featured in the latest InStyle magazine with Jennifer Lopez on the cover. So I'm so glad that this brand is finally getting recognition on like the mass market and this is a great palette to have if you really just want convenience of having a million colors in one space or if you're a makeup artist. And I am going to use this color right here, third, the third over on the top row. And it's funny because um, this is um, a really popular color. It's based on the MAC Spice Lip Liner, which a lot of people love, especially celebrities love that for a nude lip look. And Mary Erickson, a makeup artist who runs Camera Ready Cosmetics, she's a really great makeup artist. She kind of developed this lip color to look a lot like the MAC Spice. So that's really cool. And it's a nice, like, warm nude color. And the colors are really, really creamy. And they're pigmented, not like a lot of lip palettes which come out sheer. And if they help, the palette's really cool because it also comes with a gloss color right here, which is like, it's a basic vanilla spice lip gloss. And I'm going to apply that as well. And it adds like a nice little shine and it's very moisturizing too. So I'm just going to put that right on top. And this lip goes perfectly with the eyes because the eyes are more dramatic. So this is the look. This is like a very great nighttime look. It's really fun with the silver and the glitter and the smoky eye and the nude lip. And anybody, any skin tone, any skin tone can totally pull it off. And I use all Graftobian cosmetics. You guys know I love them. So make sure to check them out at graftobian.com. And last but not least, I am giving away a brand new lip palette. And this is really an awesome kit essential as well as amazing for those of you who love makeup. Look at all the beautiful colors. You go from pinks to nudes to berries to reds all in one palette. And Graftobian has generously donated it for you guys because you know, it's your, the viewers out there that really keeps the company going. It's a family-run business, so, you know, word of mouth is an awesome thing for them. So, in order to win this palette, check out my blog at MakeupByRenRen.com and leave me a comment telling me why you love the Graftobian lip palette, and I will choose a winner and announce it. So you can see the link in the info box, and that's it. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night. Ciao, Bellas. Thank you.